is a lock and key. So he sends Robin Hood out to get them, and he's just he's just a hot damn mess. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll get to that. Here we go. I have returned, he announced. Did you get the lock and key from Maid Marian? Connor said. Robin Hood left off his horse with a triumphant smile, but his face quickly fell flat. No! I have failed you, sorcerer! I spent all night outside Maid Marian's castle window. I announced my presence, and I called her name, but she never opened her window! Dang it, Connor said. Does anyone else in this camp have a girlfriend? Alan and Dale and Friar Tuck were the only merry men left of the camp. The candidates weren't promising. Never mind, Connor said. Robin, can you go back to the castle tonight and try wooing her? Anything for you, sorcerer, Robin Hood said. But I fear that may not work. I feel as if Maid Marian and I are drifting apart. Therefore, even if I collected a lock and key from her, they may not be worthy of your potion. Connor slapped his hand upon his forehead. He couldn't believe his luck. If he wanted to go home, he would have to solve Robin Hood's relationship problems on top of everything else. Robin, let's have a chat, he said. What is a chat, great sorcerer? Robin Hood asked. It's a talk. Let's sit down and talk. Connor had a seat by the campfire, and Robin Hood sat across from him. Let me ask you a question, Connor said. When you talk to Maid Marian, do you always talk like this? <laughs> Robin Hood gave him a funny look. There is no need to shout, sorcerer, Robin Hood said. My hearing is impeccable. I have the ears of a fox. Connor rolled his eyes. He had never met anyone so clueless in his entire life. Robin Hood made Red look like a Rhodes Scholar. <laughs> Robin, I don't know another way to put this, but your volume challenged, he said. Maid Marian probably needs a break from you so her eardrums can heal. Tonight when you call for her, I want you to speak to her like you would talk to a baby. A baby, you say? Robin Hood asked. Connor covered his mouth with his finger. Much quieter than that, Connor whispered. Pretend Marion is a small, delicate infant with sensitive ears. Robin Hood did, under did understand the point of this, but he would oblige any request from his sorcerer. Next question, Connor said. What do you and Maid Marion talk about when you're together? The downfall of Prince John and the restoration of Nottingham, he said. Tonight, I want you to start with a simple, how are you? Connor instructed. Ask her how her day was. Compliment what she's wearing. Ask her if she got her hair cut. But Marion's hair is always covered by a veil, 